expiation for your betrayal. That's Jack's reply. Atonement? And what are your betrayals? To me, Jack, can you still truly, after all this time, not understand how grievously you hurt me? I will not submit myself to execution and mutilation by your hand, but I am willing to meet with you one on one. Unless you find yourself fulfilled in hunting lone women to their deaths. Think about it, Harlow. <clears throat> That's Jack right there. might be going after off to Emerald Ranch to look for me. That was Jack right there. Unless that's not his horse, but that looks like his horse. I'm pretty sure. She's seen him on that horse at least once. Frost. Holy Frost. Who's there? Holly Frost. Okay, Miss Holly. Well, can I help you? I just wanted to ask a question. Just a real quick question. Shoot. Is Jack Kellerman currently wanted for anything? No. Alright. Thank you. Why'd you ask, Holly? Because I need to know. Does it matter? Yes, it does. Well, I'm not planning on doing anything illegal, so I don't think it matters. Well, you ask us a question. Just ask one back in kind. Because I need to know whether or not I'll be seeing him in town. Then yes, I imagine you might. Because if he's gonna murder me, I prefer that he do it in town. Like I don't think he will. He is in a, a rough state right now. Physically and potentially mentally too. 
You don't know Jack. Ah, oh, that's fine. It wasn't meant to be. No, no. I think I might know him better than you assume, but I don't know him as well as you might. If something terrible happens to me in the next few days, I'm just. Is he, has he made comments to you, Holly? Yes. Like what? The entire war that you have been witnessing between Van Horn and Jack has been him directed at me. And now with Summers away, you're you're vulnerable, is that what you're saying? I have nothing keeping the monsters at bay. Not even my own monsters. So yes. Holly, if you genuinely feel like your life's in danger because of him, we can't intercede. No, you can't. How many times has <laughs> Jack has been to Sissica over and over and over again? There ain't much stopping him. He's been shot down repeatedly. <laughs> There's nothing stopping him, and I think you know that. So it's better to try and speak face to face rather than be to be hunted down. Well, listen, you tell us when and where this happens. <laughs> no, can... I ain't no rat. What are you ratting on? What is the red on Holly other than you just had a little bit of insurance? If you do have this conversation and nothing comes of it, then there ain't no ratting. And if he does try and harm you, then we will be close by. And we can intercede, like I said. I very much doubt that he's going to respond to my request. He's just going to hunt. Because I know that he has to know by now that I'm alone. Have you heard much about how he's tried to turn over a new leaf lately? No, but I know stuff that you don't know. Stuff that is very recent. What's that? Between him and Braithwaite, maybe? No, I don't know anything about Braithwaite. Other than him trying to lock me up for things that I didn't do. Ages ago. Braithwaite? Yes. Oh, well, he ain't law no more. <laughs> well, that's news to me, but good, I guess. Braithwaite's highly dangerous, okay? I'll keep that in mind. Holly, if you do believe it's right, then fine. But if you know something about Ketterman, it could be useful for us to put him away for a while. The only thing I know is that certain people agreed to hand me over to him because he still wants me for what he calls expatiation, atonement. For me, shooting him to save my own skin. And these individuals gonna hand you over. Was the Summers crew? I've said enough. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. There ain't nothing you can do. He's got a new bow now. A what? Some, a new bow. New lady. I, I was never his lady. Let's get one thing straight. I was never his lady. Never. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. 
Maybe. Just maybe he is that, trying to take no. on this new path. No, he isn't. My information is as of is as of yesterday, as of today. Okay. All right. Jack holds his grudges as dearly as he holds his life. He ain't giving them up. Okay, well, don't you give up, neither. I ain't giving up. I just am finally able to make my own choice. And my choices are I can run for the rest of my life and leave state be gone. Or I can face something. But those are my only two options. So we're choosing to stand your ground there? I'm done running. No, I don't blame you. I know you've been holed away over in the East Coast for a long time. You don't know the half of it. No, I probably don't. Thank you for the inf thank you for the information. Like I said, I'll do what I can. Don't kid yourself. Searches this horse. <laughs> illegal, illegal, illegal. That looks a lot like Jack's horse. Like, a lot, a lot. Oh, I'm so nervous now! <laughs> It's over. Not sure if you stuck around to see, but we didn't have a chance. They took Summers by boat, and there was nothing to be done. Also, during the meeting, Jack never mentioned if he was still after you. This olive branch was that I would agree to play in this poker tournament of his. I have a plan for solving the Kettleman problem once and for all. We should talk. I also need his telegram number if you're willing to share. I need to talk to him about the tournament. Summers promised $5,000, which I don't think I can come up with. Hopefully, he will settle for the original 2000 buy-in. Are you Well, Jack's horse is in town, so yeah, that's I'm also worried about that. I I'd, I'd like to speak with Julius before that happens. Hey. 
Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, are, are you waiting on us? No. No, I'm not. Sorry if you got that impression. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. I just thought maybe you'd seen us out there. You started sort of pacing back and forth here. Uh, is there no. anything I can help you with? Pretty sure I should see Jack's horse in town. That's all. Yeah, his horse got left here, but he rode out of town. He's not here, place. you sure? Yeah, I saw him ride out myself. He went with Clayton. I mean, I suppose he could have come back by now. I can't say for right. sure. I've been on the pier for uh, a little while. But he rode out west uh, towards the desert uh, about half hour, 45 minutes ago. All right. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He does come here pretty often. So if you're concerned about seeing him, then I don't know if I'd linger too long. But Well, we're going to end up coming face to face here eh? sometime soon. It's what you call inevitable. And you expect that's not going to end so good? I know for a fact it's not going to end so good. Okay, well, I just want to restate that, you know, regardless of your... I'm not haunting anybody, if that's what you're trying to say. I'm saying you can always come to us if you need help. The man's been jailed and he's been shot. You know that kind of thing ain't stopping him. But if you're under threat and you need help, we can provide extra help in that sense. Right. If he's out there looking for you, you let us know. I can tell you that if something terrible happens in the next few days, that he is the one responsible. And that will be a fact. And it's because Gavin's gone. Partially. I ain't got nobody around me anymore. That hedge of protection's gone. So yes, you could say it's because Gavin is gone. But I'm also not confined to Van Horn anymore. Well, all, all we can do is react based on information we have. So you give us information about whether or not he is for sure coming after you. You know, we can try to stop, stop that from happening. Uh, if you need help riding from town to town, if you don't feel safe, we can escort you, whatever you need. I can tell you that he is for sure coming after me eventually. If it's not him, he'll get somebody to deliver me. I'm going to be trying to talk to him. If he's going to murder me, I want him to do it in town. Okay. Well, um, I hope you got some friends you can ride with then in that case. Someone who can watch your back for you. Yeah, I would hope for that too. Uh, well, um, uh, I can let you get back to your business then. Yeah. Thanks. Howdy. Howdy. Oh yeah, it's just I always hope that stuff can be solved, you know, by something other than an endless back and forth. Because... Well, uh, she might not be being hunted, but if he sees her, he will absolutely do something. If he has the opportunity. And you never know when that might be. No, I don't want to do that. Um, I also know he probably OOC won't agree to it. Because in 
in this, when you do a duel with someone, you have to perma. Whoever loses has to perma, pretty much. But kind of for the way Holly's story is going now, um, she has she has two options. One is to leave the state to get away from Kettleman, or the other is to face him. And so the question is: Is she gonna keep running, or is she gonna actually do something for herself about her problems? You know, that's the question. So she's decided she's gonna do something about it. Exactly, Mike. It, when you leave the state, that's a perma. Pretty much. I mean, it's a soft perma. You can come back. But if she leaves the state and comes back two months later and Jack is still around, then she's in the in literally the same exact boat as she is now. So... The other option, because because if uh, you've heard anything of St Holly's backstory, she came here so she could start doing her own thing. She could start being, you know, in control of her own fate, making her own decisions, and she has been denied that at every turn since she got here. Now that Summers is behind bars, like... An oppression is removed, but so is a crutch. <clears throat> yeah, they tell you they tell you how long. So I asked I asked how long for Holly, and they said at least five days. Which I left I was gonna leave her in for longer, but because Obi's funeral, I thought it would be better for RP if Holly was there instead of not being there. And I mean I, I think it kinda was. So I decided to take her out early for that. Um, otherwise, I would have had her in until, like, until Friday. But yeah, when it was, it was between doing an active, yeah, an active RP with something with deep impact for the character. <laughs> you were bawling. I was bawling. <laughs> but yeah. Isn't that crazy guys have something like this? I mean, this is just we're just a bunch of nerds playing a computer game and making up some stories. We're playing pretend and it causes these huge reactions from people. You know? Even Summers was crying. Oh, see, I know everybody. Everybody was crying. <laughs> oh man, oh, we're all such a bunch of nerds. And testament to the actors, they keep bring the world alive. I just can't believe that we do all this improv. You know. Howdy. Not mine, can we help you? You ever forgot who I was? Oh, Miss uh, Holly, right? Correct. There it is. See, I, I'm getting better at names and stuff. This is, uh, OB's, uh, lady over there, Eugene. Remember her from yesterday? Mm-hmm. I do. You feeling better today, ma'am? No. Ah, all right. Yeah, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. Mm. Time heals all wounds, they say. I don't think that's true. Well, I might, might leave a nice scar then. 
Yeah, it's gonna leave the scars for sure. What can we help you with, Miss Holly? Nothing. Just saw you around. Want to make sure that you hadn't lost that rifle yet. Oh, come on, man. I ain't gonna lose that rifle. Like I say, you got my word. But. Really like that rifle. I really liked OB. Well, so did we. Good friend of ours. Taught us a lot. We were grown quite close. I'm sure. You still got them dice? Yeah, I'm sure those dice really meant a lot to you. Oh, yeah, all right, we'll get, we'll get up. Uh, sorry, what was that? Nothing. They were special dice. I mean, they were all base. Oh, if that's special, then you can have them back, because I really don't have anything to do with him. Well, what, what's that supposed to mean? What you mean? Starting to feel like Howdy there's there. a... Howdy. I feel there's a... What, what's that word, Eugene? Animal... Tension. Animalist... Oh, animosity. Oh, yeah, I see it. That's the one. I guess I'm just sitting here waiting for someone to come and slit my throat. Well, I can't do too much about it, because... <laughs> funny thing about getting arrested, you know, they take every penny that you have and more. Oh, oh well, hey, who's, who's, who's coming to the... Hurt you? I mean, me and Eugene can help you. You friends of OB, you, you friends of ours. That's right. <laughs> you heard of Jack Kettleman? Yeah. Uh, A little bit. <laughs> I may have witnessed him uh, almost get murdered yesterday. I don't imagine he gonna be out hunting you tonight. Uh, oh, he might not be. It. He might not be hunting me tonight, but that's only a matter of time. But perhaps that's why he's not agreeing to meet me now. Hmm. Nearly got murdered by who? Uh. Well, hell, I guess people are to know. Uh, it, it was a personal feud he's got with uh, Mr. Braithwaite. The fella who used to be a deputy. Interesting. That's him. Look. He surely will not be working for the law again in his current form. Good. He always tried to get me locked up for things I didn't do. Yeah, I can't imagine him being a law dog. That must have been something else. I'm glad we weren't around for that, huh, Eugene? Uh huh. Shame he couldn't succeed with getting rid of Jack. I already tried. Lots of people have tried. Well, I mean, for the right dollar, anything is possible. Eugene, come I on. have negative sixteen hundred and sixty dollars. I can't pay anybody anything. Oh, I'm sure we could work something in. I negative, guess. negative sixteen hundred. I mean, the hell kind of. Okay. What kind of crew you been wrong with? I didn't do much. They just attribute stuff to you because the people that you ride with for protection. Oh, that's how they locked me up for one of them bank robberies a while back. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, we know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I bet Eugene knows. Yep. Yeah, I think a lot of people know. That ain't right. Well, what, you need a... A few dollars for some food or something? No, I have money for food. Just nothing else. Okay, well, I got a... Uh, you got... You, looks like you got some... Some lines there. Some what? Some, uh, protection. You got some weapons there. Oh, yeah. A cattleman and a carbine. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, uh... Hell. You wanna 
You need something else? Something better? I want to ask you how much you want for that rifle, but I don't think I want to know. I have a little something I could give you, but... Oops. Why don't you just... Don't worry about it. Why don't you take this rifle instead? Beautiful, I'm trying to no. perfect condition. I'm trying to stay clean. I don't need that to be found on me and get me chucked back in Sisica. Well, I mean, it's a uh, pretty nice rifle. That's all I'm saying. Right. I'm sure it's so nice you want to give it away to me. I've been using this yeah, rifle for damn months else. now. I ain't ever get caught. Oh, okay. You got some of them bars. Look at that, Eugene. She's got a gold That's bar. That's all there. I have left. Same gold bars from, you know what? Yes. Let's see it. Well, I see you got a couple hundred dollars there. I mean, it's going to help you a little bit. It's not a couple hundred, but... No, it won't really help me. Because I can't take it. I mean... Yeah. What's this rifle so important to you for? I mean, I know it's your OB's. OB was a close friend of ours. Uh, it's both of ours. It was handed to me. As I got off the boat from Sisica. So My I... own weapons were lost for no reason. Okay. If you can't if you can't understand, then you won't understand. Uh, you found this, Eugene? I think a little bit oh I'm time out. I may have been healing it from you, but uh Holly's this is one of the, the people that I robbed the bank with. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just, we just, we get kept it confidential. Yeah, that's good. That's how we do it. That's right. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, if it was yours, how, why don't we have it? I d didn't say that at all. Oh. <sighs> Never mind. She, she said that she, I mean, she got a hand it to her out of Cisco. Man, I found this, Eugene. Yeah, she didn't say she didn't want it. She said she's not going to just take it because she could just take it but she wasn't going to go against uh ob's will right she wasn't going to disrespect ob that way she said that's up to you but i have to hand it to you Say hi to Grandma Michael Sarah. <laughs> I can't. I just. I can only see one thing when I look at that. <laughs> 